with this video, I might come off like a big fat hypocrite, right? Because I've said in the past, in the recent past actually, I've said it multiple times, but I think the most recent time was just like maybe a couple of weeks ago, that Rotten Tomatoes doesn't really matter that much. Um, and my reasoning specifically in Wonder Woman 1984's case is because since HBO Max put it on H the streaming service and in theaters at the same time, it wouldn't matter what its score was because if it's on a streaming service that are that people already have, they're going to watch it anyway regardless of what the reviews are because of convenience. It's like, I'm already paying for this service. This movie's on here. I might as well watch it even if a review is bad. Who cares? Um, I'm already paying for it, so just watch it, right? So that's going to make this sound weird, but oh no! The Rotten Tomato score for Wonder Woman 1984, it dipped into the rotten category, but now I think it's fresh again. So very interesting that it's on that precipice, you know, that teetering edge of being, well, having a certification of being good versus a certification being bad, you know, like the splat versus, you know, the fresh ripe tomato. It's like just on the edge, that border. Um, and I've seen a lot of videos, well, I've seen multiple videos talking about it's fresh, it's um, rotten, it's newly minted rotten status, but the last time I looked, it had creeped back up into the fresh zone just by like a hair, right? And I thought that was worth mentioning because a lot of people seem to be concerned about Wonder Woman 1984's fresh versus rotten status, rotten tomato status. I guess when it dipped into the rotten category, I missed it, but I saw an image it was, I screenshotted it. Grace Randolph put it on her Twitter account that um, it was 59%, um, it was 59%, which is a rotten status on the tomato meter at 378. The audience score is pretty, is, is pretty good though, 74%. And I actually think the audience score is more important than the tomato score, but I understand why a lot of people don't talk about it because the audience score on Rotten Tomatoes can be easily like artificially influenced either to be too high or too low. Like, it can be review bombed. And a lot of people who want a movie can su to succeed can put, like, these fake positive reviews or, like, you know, have, like, multiple fake accounts all saying a movie's good to artificially inflate, you know, its positive status. So I get why a lot of people don't pay attention to the audience score because it can be manipulated. Um, but the last time I checked on the Rotten Tomatoes website, just before I made this video, the movie Wonder Woman 84 was at 60% again. Um, 60% fresh on the tomato, the critic side, and 74% on the audience side again. Interesting, though, that um, it's fresh versus rotten status is based on the same count review count. So I guess maybe some, like, critic changed their review score um, to be fresh when it was rotten. I'm not sure how Rotten Tomatoes calculates its algorithm. I haven't looked that much into it. Because, like I said, I've said before, I don't think Rotten Tomatoes is that important. But um, this is a topic that does seem to be getting a lot of people's attention, which is why I'm making a video about it, right? You know, Wonder Woman 1984 is, is rotten. Oh no, it sucks, right? They're looking for that validation. But like I said before, it doesn't really matter because, you know, convenience, I think, trumps everything in this case, right? I think a lot of people, you know, if something's going to be coming on a streaming service they already pay for, they're going to watch anyway regardless of reviews. Um... So, you know, I think that streaming releases do reduce Rotten Tomatoes' importance. I think Rotten Tomatoes isn't as important for a streaming movie as it is when there is a theatrical movie. Because a theatrical movie, you know, people have to, like, leave their house to drive somewhere, um, spend money on a ticket and food. Maybe a ticket for more than one person if they're taking a date or going with their family. Whereas if you're at home and you already pay, like, you know, 9 to $15 for a service... You're just going to watch whatever's on it anyway, most likely, because you're not paying anything extra. It's just on something you already pay for. So I do think that's probably helping Wonder Woman 1984 at least just being watched, period, on HBO Max. Whether or not a lot of people like the movie, that's another, that's another topic. I mean, and that I think is related to why the Rotten Tomatoes score has, been, has plummeted. But, you know, I do think the movie is being seen, so it's getting a lot of good metrics and views at least. You know, like I said, whether or not, you know, a lot of people are enjoying what they're looking at is another story. But um, I certainly think a lot of eyeballs have been on this movie and still are on this movie because, you know, 
it's not too hard to watch, right? You don't have to drive anywhere to watch it. You can look right on your phone or your tablet or wherever. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.